So in my previous unboxing video, I asked you if you'd like to see more of this kind of content and the answer was generally positive. So here we are with another box to open today. In that video, I also mentioned I had gone on a little bit of a auction spree, let's say, hopefully a little bit of a controlled spree, and that enabled me to pick up some really cool swords. And actually the reason why I ended up buying so many swords is that um, many swords I really wanted for a long time or that I've been looking at kinds of swords have all popped up in auction in these last in the last month so I tried to pick up as many as I could of the ones I wanted and at least one of the swords I really really wanted uh, I've been always looking at and wanting to kind of handle is in here as well so we're gonna go ahead and open this box right away you'll see that one of the straps is already broken and that's because I had already started unboxing it when I realized that the camera wasn't filming, the storage was full, so I had to kind of get through and, um, well, make some room for new videos. So I'll keep opening it as we go. One thing I wanna say is that no matter the amount of packages I end up opening, it's always really exciting because, well, it does feel a little bit like, um, it's gift day, but also, especially for swords that you really want or that you're looking forward to owning, it's always really, you never really know if it's going to live up to the description or your hopes. So it's always a little bit of a kind of check when the box comes in and when you open it to see if you actually ended up making a decent buy or not. So... If more of these keep coming in, I'll have to get a better implement than this. Um, maybe I should use a sword. Um, but for now, this will have to do. So, as I mentioned, this is the... Um, these are the deliveries coming through from this uh, set of stuff I bought from different auction houses in the last month. So they're coming in a little at a time. Today we have only two, so it's not going to be the richest uh unboxing ever but i hope it'll make up for quality what it lacks in quantity okay so as usual we can check how the box is packed and in this case it's relatively empty there's not a lot of garbage filler a little bit of these air pockets and basically the two swords so that's all there is to it i'll get the box out of the way so, there we go. Ooh, almost damaged my light there. And both of these swords are ones I've really been looking forward to for a long time. They're swords that I really like. They're similar. They're in the, a similar family of swords, I would say. So, which one should we start with? I'll just feel around because I want to... I kind of want to open the... I have a mental order, let's say, of how I want to open them. So, I think we should probably start with, I have the impression, I think we'll start with this one. Um, you'll see, by the way, this, um, the Packengers um, stickers here. This is a service that I've seen a lot on French auction houses. Uh, basically, it's a kind of s platform that uh, takes care of packaging and stuff. They've... I'm still not sure about, about their service. Uh, they cover a lot of the auction houses, so that's really cool. Prices can be all over the place, so that I'm, is something that I'm still trying to figure out. But in this case, the price was good enough for me to get to buy these. So let's see, and this is indeed the one I thought we opened first. So I'll give you a second to make your bet. What do you think it is? One, two, three. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, there we go. How about this? So this is a Walloon hilted sword. And let's get this out of the way. In this out of the way. This is by far, I think, one of my absolute favorite styles of sword. It's, I just think it's almost the perfect sword in terms of uh, design. It's maybe the Schiavona is 
the only one that comes above it in my uh, in my mind. So this one is really cool. I have another one that is really scaled down a lot. I'll compare them in a future video. Um, but this is the first time I have a full sized one uh, in hand. It's in, well, perhaps not in the best condition, but it's definitely not in bad con in bad shape it um it has some repair that has been done it's missing a screw here let me show you really quickly you can see there that it's uh they've riveted something there to keep the guard in place rather than the screw um but overall it feels it's really solid the blade has some inscriptions and i think there might be a a sow wolf somewhere there so okay this is really cool um it has both the shell guards what do you think is this a kind i cannot imagine anyone not liking the walloon hilted sword so i'll just assume that you're all enjoying it right now on the other side of the camera um really really cool it has it was varnished at some point you can see some traces of um here like shiny varnish but that's not everywhere so let's see is there anything else that we can no other marks that i can tell sometimes there's something on the pommel but i do not see anything or hmm. oh yeah there's actually well Okay, but this is an unboxing video, so <laughs> I'll have to do my research with a little more um, with a little more of a calm mind. Um, really cool. The blade is not rusty at all. It has two little rust points here, but that's something that a quick cleanup will fix. Well, come on. Overall, really nice. Yeah, it's looking really good. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the number one. So <laughs> if this is the starting one, I hope you'll enjoy the next one even more. And the cuts you see in this video are because I'm interrupting it to check that it's still filming. Given my near miss just a few minutes ago, I don't want to unbox the whole thing and then um, end up not having any footage. So we'll open this one. Let me, I hope it's visible. Um, I did go on a bit of a spree, I mentioned, but don't expect many more unboxing videos, at least in the next weeks. I think I have two more deliveries coming and then I think that's going to be it for a while. Um, so enjoy these while they last. Okay. This is a sword that, especially living in the Netherlands, I absolutely, especially living in Amsterdam, I just had to have. So I hope I've given enough hints. You get a few seconds again to make your guess. But uh, I've given you enough clues, I think, to guess what it is. So let's see. And it's one of the so-called Amsterdam City Guard swords. So if you're familiar with it, you've probably recognized it right away. If not, I can quickly run you through. Well, we'll take this off later. But basically, it's a form of Walloon hilted sword in a sense. It's lacking uh, the side guards here, so it only has a knuckle bow. And it has this lovely pierced uh, shell guard that you can actually see. Let me show you close up. In this case, it's missing one of them, but that was a... Uh, small defect that I was willing to um, to overlook it has yeah it has all the stamps it should have all the uh, it has all of the marks that would be expected it has a Passau wolf that I did not expect to see and it has a some writing here in the in the fuller that is the only part that has been cleaned you may see here it's been kind of uh, slightly polished and cleaned the rest of the blade is still fully patinated on this side on this side it's a little bit of a different story still it's solid there's no shake in it this hilt 
and the grip and just the whole hilt area here is way bigger than you may expect by just seeing it in pictures. Um, every time I saw it, which is a lot, I always had the impression that this was kind of a relatively small sword in a sense, something that would be comfortable to carry while you patrol the streets, I suppose. That's kind of where I was coming from. But this grip is more of, I would say, kind of like a, almost like a cavalry kind of hilt. So that's very interesting. Um, anyway, it's something we're going to look at in one or more videos, because this is absolutely a wonderful style of sword. So it's something I think we're going to have a lot to talk about. So anyway, these are the two new entries in the uh, collection. By the way, look at the size of the guard on the Amsterdam hilted one versus a regular Walloon. It's, this is already not a small grip, but compared to this, it's tiny. Look at the Quillen, for example. Well, this one is bent, but you can see a big difference. So anyway, um, I, I, I'm going to be spending a bunch of time this evening with these two and trying to figure things out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you with the next unboxing as soon as the next package comes through. But also, of course, with more sword videos as I prepare them. Speaking of which, you'll see behind me some cool swords. I hope you like them. There's a 1871 Italian saber. There's a 1860 Italian saber. There's a 1843 uh, sidearm, always Italian. I have a lot of new Italian stuff. And up there is also, that's a very unusual one. It's a composite sword, but the blade is really interesting on that one. So I'm kind of setting up videos for all of these. So maybe just let me know in the comments which one you'd like to see first. And maybe I can, well, maybe I can answer those requests and, you know, kind of have things come out in the order you guys prefer. So thank you for watching. I'll see you soon in another sword video.